Dudes, what is up? We're back here with another unbox, and this is pretty much a very unique unbox. This is a bit of game changer. Uh, so this will be the new lighting system from Steez. We'll go through it now in its sort of entirety. We'll take you through the functionality, how to use them, and the whole the whole box and dice. Look, if you are new to this channel, you've come across because of a torch or a, a light uh, video prompt, look, consider subscribing. What I do here is I'm like, uh, I'm a performance testing channel. I'm not actually a reviewer of every board, so you won't find a lot of faults here because I'm handpicking these boards and thorough testing before I actually recommend them. I'm cutting out all the bullshit, as I say, on my bullshit button, so you can just come to a one-stop shop, a bit like a Top Gear show. You don't see Jeremy Clarkson uh, you know, driving a Hyundai or a Toyota. They only have the performance vehicles and the high-profile stuff. Same here. So hit that notification bell, you'll get all the latest stuff coming through, and it's just a great channel to subscribe to for that sort of uh, shortcut stuff um, okay so look what we got here we got Steve's lights what are they well they're not actually the actual light is actually was, was invented uh, Hank Wang the godfather of uh, torches and lighting aluminum he's absolutely a legend has developed the D well actually he's, he developed the D4 MSR light which was used in the cave initial cave searches for the Thai boys when going through the caves military commandos British military uses them man vs wild bear grills Last episode with uh, Jake Gillenhawk, they all use this. The browns, the, there's come in many colors. Well, actually, it's a D4 V2 now. This is the V2 version, which we've got the new model. Um, they've been around for a little while. It is your state-of-the-art torch. This is um, an incredible piece of engineering, and it really is probably overkill for electric skateboards. However, it's dimmable, adjustable, and it's up to 4,300 uh, lumens, which is like 12 times more powerful than what's out there. Now today, I also want to say that I, I'm a big fan of shred lights. I'm an ambassador for shred lights. I know shred lights backwards. I know Eric, and I'm proud of what they've achieved. And they're amazing. 80% of the time, shred lights will cut it. But when you need that extra lighting, if you're in a English countryside or a German forest or out in the middle of Midwest America in Nevada desert, this is what you need. This is full on, it's just unbelievable power. Like you're talking 4,300 watts, that's 12 times more powerful than what shred lights can produce. Uh, it's dimmable, it's programmable, it's the state of the, it's got a rambling iOS software, uh, Eurodrill on it, so it's, um, it's, it's programmable. We'll go through all the features and all the stuff soon. Um, the lenses that come straight from the UK, uh, they're Carclo 4 Quad LEDs. They're a very good company to supply, again, mil military installations. This is this the state-of-the-art kind of lighting. They're waterproof. They're IP67. They're one meter underwater waterproof. They have a nylon, uh, will have a rubber nylon um, washer as well as a square thread. If you, used to, if you know about military square threads, are totally waterproof. Um, they are an incredible torch. So the torch themselves, you can buy them from China, but you, um, through Steez Lights and Fa and now through Transite, you can get them one-stop shop with the brackets. Okay, so the brackets, this is what makes people say, well, why, why, how can we, why, why do you want to do it? Because we can, we can do it now with the brackets. So the brackets are made uh, of a high quality filaments, you have 3D printing. You look at the detail of these 3D printing brackets, they're sensational, like a metal metallic finish. You can knock them, hit them, bang them, do whatever you want with them, and you can't actually um, break them. And you can Velcro them off and take them off if you don't have them on. It's just a great thing. So uh, he's developed this in conjunction with Transite. I've also incorporated it to the cross country board. I've got it on the Eck wheel. You can really, with this particular bracket, you can put it on any Evolve front drop through truck. It'll work with the angle of the bracket. We'll go through that in detail in a minute. So that's why we can now really put these lights on electric skateboards. It's absolutely the next level stuff. Uh, Reese is a absolute <laughs> freak when it comes to 3D printing. He's got 24 printers going 24 seven at his, uh, at his actual head office up there in uh, Gosford. Uh, he's been in the drone business for a long time. This guy is, these drone guys, no offense, are way ahead of the electric skateboard boys. They're, the drone guys have been doing this for 15 years. They are so advanced with attachments, brackets, 3D printing, the whole lot. So we're going to go through this lighting system with what Reese has now developed as is a, a really good system of attachment. Uh, the beauty is you slide these batteries out, whack a new battery in, there's no mucking around, it takes a little time. So it's crazy bright, you can dim them down, they're all adjustable, we'll go through the features in a minute, take you through all the functionality and how it works. Uh, this, uh, these are extraordinary investment. This is, um, the, it really is, makes uh, secure riding at night time so safe. If you're over 50 and you need more light, uh, this is your only 
option. This is this is it. Um, not a huge expense. I think sixty nine dollars a light. We'll go through and unbox them now. And then you've got the batteries and you've got the bracket, so it does package up. But if you get uh, look in the description field below, you'll see a three deal. If you get two torches and a bracket, there's some percentage off or something. It's all down there. I'm not involved there. I'm just involved with loving it, buying it, and just telling you guys about it basically. So let's get into unboxing the uh, the Steez lights, which are essentially the MSA. Uh, the the NSA D4 V2, bit of a mouthful. And let's open the box now. I'll get my gloves on and we'll open them up now and we'll have a look. Let's open the box and have a look inside. Um, that's the setup here. As you can see, there's the, the torches and there's the chargers. I've got an optional single charger as well as a dual charger. There they are. That's the, D, uh, the D4 V2. You can see it says V2 on there. Uh, Hank Wang is a friggin' legend. This is the most amazing light system you can get. Uh, now, uh, phaser can stock a few colors there this is the black version as you can, as you can see that's cnc milling on all that aircraft aluminium on that with a bit of cobalt through it it's got a look at those lenses that's the caclo from uk uh, rubberized electronic switch that's actually stainless steel that top part that's the actual um diffuser and the heat sink and the front of that torch it gets very hot uh, you can light a match on this thing or start a fire so be pretty careful with it Okay, so at the back of it, we've got the, uh, the that's the battery uh, compartment area and the switch on. You'll notice that it's a magnetic, it screws on like this and comes onto the auxiliary. That auxiliary will last two years on those seven colours. On the new V2, you've got seven different colours. You can oscillate them, keep them on one colour for a red, for instance, like that for the back of your tail lights. Um, that turns on straight onto a standard low setting, and then it goes up dimmer to high, dimmer to low. That low setting is like four times more bright than a shred light. So unscrew the back, it's a magnetic now base on the new V2. See it magnets to the actual battery. Uh, you can get it up very easy, swap batteries in literally four seconds, I'll show you later. 20 amp uh, draw rate, that's pretty powerful. Nothing can compete with this 18650. That's all copper infused, um, beryllium copper on the back of that. Right, so look, that's the torch. It's about, uh, look, you're looking at about uh, something like 95 millimeters long. It's a 24 millimeter uh, diameter. It's glass, anti-reflective. Um, it's waterproof IP67. That means it goes down to one meter. It's totally waterproof with a, as I said, rubber. Look, so look at the magnets on the back of that. You can actually put them together and form one torch. I'll show you a bit later how that works very effectively if you want to use it that way. Um, Anti-reflective, as I said, and it's also got the um, uh, the temperature step down as well. It's an 18650 battery, which will last about 70 minutes on high, uh, probably more like two and a half hours on medium, and maybe you know a lot longer on, on low, but low is still more brighter than anything out there. Um, it's an incredible uh, piece of engineering. It really gets very hot. Uh, you'll be very careful with this on the end if it's, uh, if it's in an area where you can sort of light something but yeah, look, it's just, uh, it's a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful lighting system. Not that heavy, but also got some significant feel to it. The brackets go so well with this. They fit in beautifully. They don't rattle, make a sound. They just are just beautiful because it's that, that beautiful filament that uh, Reese has used on the, on the actual, um, on the brackets. It's just incredible. So there we go. So now look, I'll just show you. that's on. That's uh, again, if you double click it, um, you'll get what's turbo mode. See, whoa, turbo mode is 4,300 lumens. That is crazy, solidly crazy bright. Um, you'd use that if you really needed to uh, blind somebody or protect yourself or if you wanted to sort of see about 100 meters ahead of you. Um, so we're going to go on now and show you, um, there's also functionalities where you can actually have this thing to turn on in 10 minutes and go off in 12 minutes and flash SOS. It's a full on rampling OIS software. Look at that, that's my Velcro on the bottom of my bracket and that's on my Eck wheel. It slides in there, I can Velcro it straight on, Velcro it straight off. I love that because I can take it off if I don't want to have the lights on and I can hit it and whack it with my foot and just rip that off the Velcro and you can't destroy that bracket. It's just waterproof, rust proof, everything. Uh, there you go. So the other brackets now we've, we've now devised for the transite boards as well as uh, any drop through truck really will work is this one here. Now you'll notice that uh, it's got the transite on that. It's also got the Steez lights uh, emblem embossed on the back as well. It's like a me metallic finish, beautifully done, solid. It's really such a beautiful, solid, sort of, you know, flexible kind of damping effect on the uh, the torch as it protects it from vibrations, fits in beautifully. There's an angle on that now, which is the right angle you can get for pretty much for the road. So when the, the flex of the deck comes in, you'll have the correct angle to go on. There's the double one in black. 
Um, you'll need a double light if you really want to go somewhere in the bush somewhere. Again, uh, you know, it's just angled perfectly for that, not blinding anybody, and you know, just just a great setup. Um, it just, you know, it just works, and it works well. I've used them for about five, you know, five days straight now. They just work beautifully. What I'm going to do on mine is see that double. I'm putting a double on the front and double on the back on my carbon transite, and I'll leave the back ones on the LEDs like this, the auxiliary. They last for two years like that on auxiliary. I'll set those back ones to red. Um, and have them at the back of my board, and I'll have the other two ones on the front on high beam or medium beam for riding. And then when they die at the front after 70 minutes, I put these back ones on the front, and there's enough power in the battery, even nearly dead, to fire those LEDs to the back on red for another, like those red ones at the back for another 70 minutes. So you've got dual lights that last you four hours. Um, it just, just can't be better than that. It's just a perfect setup. Um, it really is, it, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful light system and really for me uh, it's working beautifully there's the red the crimson red which I got on the Eck wheel um, again the filament it's just beautiful the way it's all finished off inside there um, and now Reese will attach uh, the 3M it's a very high grade contact peel back on the back so you won't have any problem with it coming off uh, and I'll just show you installation now on actually putting um, that onto a board. I'd recommend putting 100% alcohol first on your truck, clean your truck first. Look at that, it's a nice and neat system. That'll give you a throw of around about 100 meters on, on, on medium and much more on high beam. If you've got a turbo, you'll light up half a football field. Um, it's just crazy bright. But yeah, there's times when you need this stuff and it does work. Look at the angle on that, just will stop any sort of fracting in the eyes. It's just beautiful. This is the charger. The charger, this is a skinny charger, quick single charge. If you only buy one torch, you want to have it in your hand. Uh, a lot of people are opting for that, just to have it in your hand where you can see. Uh, you can buy this charger. It's also got the USB charger on the side. Um, there's the single uh, carriage way for the single battery. And this is the what I got, which is the um, the uh, Everest uh, double charger with the digital screen readout, it's pretty good. It uh, charges very fast uh, and it's also got a, a dual, I think, USB on it or single USB, have a look now. Magnetic case that clicks on in the cover. Uh, you can see the digital readout straight away. You can also use this as a power bank. So if you need to, you can power bank your phone or anything. It's got, yeah, it's got output there, five, uh, yeah, there you go. So it's, you can use it as a power bank as well. It's a very clever, keep the spare batteries in there, etc. Magnetic latch that clicks on beautifully. No problem there. Um, it really is a, a nice little unit. So it's, you'll stop those as well. Uh, and then of course, you, I must mention that you have to buy the batteries separately. Sorry about that. So the batteries come there. They're only, they're very, they're not, they're very affordable. They're not very expensive. And high quality, and 650s, 20 amp draw rate. That is a beautiful battery supplied with this. And this is what um, Hank Wang is recommending for this torch system. So I would really stick with this, uh, this particular battery setup. So that's it. Now this is the bottom that comes from Reese. So you can I Velcroed straight onto that double-sided tape, so I just used my Velcro, military-grade Velcro, on that Velcro there, and that worked beautifully for me. It does not come off. But if you want to actually put that Velcro uh, idea to the side and just stick it on permanently, uh, again, you can knock these things with your foot. They can't squash or break. Uh, they just they look kind of sexy on there, that, that crimson red. If you want black, the black sort of hides a bit better and just blends in. Um, yeah, you got the black version there too. So that's on the carbon. Now the Transite website will have all these drop down menus for these brackets as well as Phaser's website, as well as stocking the Transite on Phaser, uh, as well as stocking uh, the Equil on Phaser. And yeah, so you can just get, you know, go to either, either place and get your discount uh, on, on these brackets. Uh, gee, I like the blue. In fact, I'm gonna put the blue on, my, on this carbon now. Let's put it on. I wanna show you how, how to do it. So this is a quick little uh, installation. It's not rocket science, but I think I better just show you guys anyway. So you can see it fits on beautifully, it looks good. We'll do one in the front, one in the back. I'm having a single on the front, a single on the back. 100% um, alcohol, uh, give that a good wipe back and then give a dry cloth wipe, wipe over it. You just peel back the, uh, this is really super sticky. This stuff's got fiberglass through it, so it's, it's a really, really high quality attachment. It ain't gonna come off. Uh, so line it up properly, just give it a push down and bang, you're in business, you can go straight away. Look, you can even lift it up with, with this particular uh, tape straight away within a few seconds. Look, that, uh, the full weight of that, 12 kilos. <laughs> 
So um, we'll do the back one now. We'll just put the light and show you how quick it goes in. Bang, you're in business, ready to go. Um, you can also use it as a torch as well. They're just, they're just so versatile. It's just great. Put the back one on, same thing again. Stick it on, put it on the back there. Uh, you're good to go. Snap this in and pretty much you're in business. Uh, that's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, and look at that. You're on, you're on for the biggest, brightest <laughs> ride of your life. And safety is number one parallel. So when you're looking at these things, you know, it's, it's all about safety. It's all about, you know, uh, feeling uh, authoritative on the road. You get a lot of respect from these lights. They look like car headlights. Uh, they do give you a, an automotive uh, feel, like someone coming towards you in a car. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's impressive. So really, um, I think at this point, I'm going to get out in the road and do some tests. We'll do, it's fitness for purpose, whatever you think you need. Uh, but I personally will be putting these on all my boards because I need more light and I do feel so much more safer traveling at 40 k's an hour on this or 45 on the Equal wheel or the carbon at 48. Uh, I really need um, to do that. So uh, check out the cross country uh, brackets. Uh, Scott Davies is reviewing this. He'll be doing that um, on the cross country new. And also there's, uh, I'll be unboxing the carbon board next week, the full carbon. And there's also an upgrade to the new vest controller, which is the new Flip Sky. Check that out. Uh, it has got the Transite logo that comes on the front, on the top. It's like the Evolve, the, you know, the whole the screen on top and the, you know, the whole thing. It's, it's, all I can say is that I've, I've ridden both and the Flipsky ESC is light years ahead. This is still an amazing board as it was with the Hobby Wing, but having the Flipsky delivering the more amps, you're looking at a lot more, I'd say maybe 28 to 30% uh, more power, uh, definitely more torque and more top speed. So if you're looking at getting the Transite, talk to Eduardo about the upgrade to the Flipsky 4.2 dual VESC. It is Vesk inspired. We know what who owns Vesk. Um, so that's what I can suggest. Now I'll just show you before I leave now some footage of them uh, on the boards uh, close up, and I'll show you how fast it is to change a battery. No more trying to pull the the whole light off. You just slide the back off, whack the battery in, load it, just like loading a gun, putting another cartridge in, um, and you're off good to go. I think four seconds. I think is the record I've got it down to four point eight. Guys, I'll leave you. I'll get on the road now. We'll do a group ride with the Sydney Eastgate group. We'll show them. We'll demonstrate these. Um, and I'll do some more long-range uh, riding on the Equil with these on the front. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much. If you like it, put a thumbs up. If you're happy, please subscribe and drop the comments in below. I'm, I'll read every one of them. I do get back to you. It takes a little bit of time, but I will get back to each and every one of you. Uh, Till next time, guys, please be safe. It's a crazy place out there. Uh, happy skating, safe skating. I'll leave you with some footage and a quick battery change, and we'll see you in the next video coming up. Till then, stay safe.
This is the uh, Steve Lights on one, on one light, and I'll just put it on double click. Look at that. That's that's ridiculous. Well, here we are in the Sydney uh, Riders Group tonight. Where there's a whole bunch of guys here, um, and we are looking at the trend sites and the. Uh, they're going, around the, they're going around the Opera House. They're going around the Opera House. Okay, so we're looking at the trans sites with the new Steez lights. This is on low. Um, this is only on low, so we'll get it on high. And then we got Scott Davies in the house. There he is. Cross country as well. <laughs> okay. So here we have the three boards we're testing tonight. We're thoroughly testing these things, giving them a smash. So look, look at that top box. Does that look familiar? Yeah, that's the top box. That's a range extender. Check it out. So um, back lights are on red, the standard red on the back of these Steez lights. You can see, you can change those. But look at the light, that's on low. That's on low, guys, that is on low. Um, okay, so we're here with uh, Eduardo, who's the owner founder of a trans light. Can I ask you, why have you gone for these Steez lights? This is, this is seriously, we just yeah, don't know. Yeah, just, uh, they're so bright and um, it took me two years to find the proper settings and, and mounts for the cross country. Really? The angle of the tracks, the angle of the deck, it was so hard to find the right light, so. These were happy to work with me and, and put together custom made mounts, and, yeah. and I just love them. Wow. So bright and so many functions. Yeah, I you just know, put them these on all my boards now. So you see, you're putting the these lights on all my boards. Yeah, you yeah. know what? This company is at the cutting edge. Just, I'm going to order one. You know that I love these transite boards, or oh, they're all taking off. We're ready to go. And look at that backdrop panoramic. It's spring in Sydney, and it's all happening. hour now and it's still high there's no way they're going down for tonight on the Steez. Look at the bridge behind, spectacular. And this is a wrap for uh, this particular uh, ride. And look at this, check this out. Beautiful. We're down here uh, and we're just gonna wrap it up. But yeah, the Steez lights are just outperformed. So happy with these things. Okay guys, I'm going to take you through some of the uh, aspects of this particular uh, lighting system and this torch. Uh, this is the first thing I'll, you'll understand that it's got magnets on the bottom. They go together really strong. You can't possibly, you've got to pull that apart. Uh, it's really is strong. So the beauty with this straight away is you can turn the torch on one side. You just will turn them on now. Just twist them like that. So they're both on. Uh, they oscillate the uh, colors on the back of the LEDs uh, and I'll talk to you how you actually um, You know change that so you could have it on uh, Here on quite bright and you could change the back one to a red light only So you can hold your hand like that and you can get your full high beam here And you've got your red light on the back moment. It's oscillating, but I'll show you how that works Then if you wanted to you can then just turn that one off spin it round and turn this one off which will be on um, on a low beam, you can just go high, or you say you go down to low, and then you got a low beam and you got the red on the back as well. So all you do is just ride in low beam, turn that one off, spin it round, turn that one on, you got the high beam, right? Um, there we go, that's a better example. High beam, turn it off, spin it round, put that one on, and you got your red at the back, uh, and you got your low, your low beam. So that's one, you know, it makes it one big torch, really, you know, really solid, it won't come off Okay, right. Um, so there you go, that's that aspect. Let's talk about how the functionality of the actual torches. Um, so let's go through it now. So at the moment, what happens is you uh, you basically turn it on by twisting the back off, that's off, and that's now on. It just has its oscillating LED auxiliary lights. 
Uh, they're pretty bright as you can see. Um, and you can leave them on like that for literally two years and they won't wear out that LED. That's pretty incredible. So uh, that's the first thing. Next thing, to turn it on, you just hit the button once and it comes on with the torch. If you hold the button down, you'll go uh, up to high beam and then down to low beam. And there's a little, it does a little flick of light at the very end to let you know you reached the, the pinnacle of that. See, bang, one there, and then down flick of light. Uh, you can change that um, to do step. By that, when it's on, you hit it three times. One, two, three, makes a flash. And now it's stepping up and it's stepping down when you hold the button, okay? One, two, three. You might want the step better. If you hit it three times again, one, two, three, there's a slight flick of a light and you've now got your dimmer up high and down low. That's the first thing, that's that one. If you hit it twice, you'll get what's called turbo mode and this is low, this is now low, which is about five times brighter than a shred light. Um, and if you do it up high, it's you know many times brighter than a shred light, uh, probably up to seven times. And if you double click the button, uh, watch what happens. One, two, it goes into turbo mode, which is literally I can feel the heat on my, on my palm there. It'll light a match. Uh, turn it off and it'll always go back to the setting head on the dimmer, not the turbo mode. Then you go down to say a low setting and now you turn it off and put it back on again. It'll always be at that low setting. This is a stainless steel, as I said, uh, heat sink on here and it's uh, cobalt, titanium and uh, stainless CNC milled. Uh, incredible. Okay, now how do you change these auxiliary lights? Let's go through that now. I'll show you how that works. The moment you can see that that's oscillating between all its different colors um, and that's doing the same sort of r random selection. So you click the button in this state which is on standby, you hit it seven times and it will oscillate between the different settings which is off, low, high and flashing. Okay, so um, let's go through it now. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It flashes once and now, it, now it's on flashing. Okay, uh, then you do seven times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's gonna be on off. So it's just auxiliary is completely off. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's now gonna flash once. Let's know it's on low auxiliary. You can see it's low compared to the other one here. It's definitely on low. I don't know why you'd ever use that. And then of course, seven more times should put on high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, flashes once, then you've got the high. Same thing as it was before. Okay, so now you wanna change it to have it on red only. Uh, what we do is we hit it seven times and hold it, and then you oscillate through the different colors. So let's go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's flashing. Flashing fast is that, you know, it's going through the oscillations. Now it's green, blue, purple, pink, uh, and then flashing slowly is your alternating flashing. And then of course the other colors stable as where you let go any color you want. The fast flashing you'll see now, it means it's changing to, that fast flashing is changing to the next cycle, just the standard colors. And the very end one that flashes slowly is your flashing mode. So if I let go now on that, that will be flashing. If I let go on this one now, that's red. There you go, so you now got your red your red light, and that is super bright. Um, you can't see here at night. Um, again, so what you then do is put them together. If you're holding them, turn the front on, there's your torch, and you've got your red at the back. Pretty impressive for a hand thing, and if you want high, you want low beam, turn that one off, spin it round, turn that one on, and you've got the red at the back there, the high beam. Now, that's just torches, so let's talk about now the brackets. Um, oh, your factory reset, sorry. If you want to factory reset these things uh, for some reason, um, what you do is you uh, unscrew it till you turn it off, hold the button down, screw it in, and watch what happens. It goes up bright, and then it goes really bright, flashes like, and then goes flashes again, and then stops, and that is factory reset. So now, um, you factory reset the actual, um, the actual torch. So now it comes on, it's on low setting. So always factory sets to low, uh, not to high, right? Um, and then if you want to get that high, again, three, uh, sorry, seven shots uh, of the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It flashes once, now it's on the bright mode. There you go.